What's up, America? Neil here with Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about the most challenging uh, malfunction that you're going to encounter in a pistol. And we're going to just for this video call it a Type 4. Not all my trainings from civilian to law enforcement, I've never heard of a Type 4 malfunction. So we're going to coin it that. Okay? Uh, and the Type 4 malfunction can be, can present an unusual issue. And I don't know, I'm not uh, uh, an expert on physics, so if somebody knows the terminology or how it actually works, you can comment down below, it be interesting to see. But it's not about how much force you use, it's how you use the force. So, the force is with you. We are going to use this Glock 19, okay? Uh, for some reason, with the particular brand of snap caps, it happens to happen a lot. Uh, this isn't a, a malfunction you're gonna get uh, all the time, but when it does happen, it's pretty much a game, it's game over because people don't know how to fix it. So what happens is the extractor gets hung up on the brass that gets stuck in the chamber. And so when you go to clear the malfunction, no matter how much pressure you put into this, it, it, it's just not going to come free. Um, sometimes you can get the, the, the slide back enough where you can get a screwdriver and kind of force it open, the chamber. Uh, but none of that's really necessary. I found a way that I've cleared it on the, uh, in, in the live fire scenarios and training and it's worked out. And again, this is where the physics of this whole thing comes in. Uh, it's not about how strong you are and how much force, because you can force this all you want, it's just not gonna come free. It's not about that slow pressure, it's about a quick snap, okay? Uh, and it's a technique, you, you, once you practice it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Um, the idea here is that we need to just break that loose. We need to break that, that uh, extractor uh, over that brass uh, and, 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 and free it rather get, what I meant to say was get that uh, stuck uh, round that's in the chamber out. Um, so, here's the deal. In a safe direction, and again, these are snap caps in here, but if you had this uh, on the range, obviously we wanna make sure we're in the safe direction for it, we're gonna assume that's down range, okay? And don't try this at home. So basically, you're gonna take your support hand for your, whatever that is for you, and you're gonna grasp really, really firmly, as hard as you can, the top of the slide, okay? And on this guy, you may have seen it in a previous video, we've added the uh, new product from Talon Grips that you guys can probably see. Very cool. That is, uh, it has the little T there for the Talon Grips. And uh, it's cut, laser cut perfectly for the slide. Uh, so check those out, they're pretty cool. Uh, they also make them for the grips. So, we come up here and we hold this. Now again, I can force this all I want, it's, it's not gonna come free. The way this works is I take my firing hand in this case, okay, and basically, and again, safe direction, I'm gonna take this hand and I'm gonna chop very sharp, quick. I'm gonna chop at the grip, okay? And that snap force, that pressure that's quick, will break it free almost every time. I've never had one so far in all my years where I couldn't free it this way, okay? No matter how tough it was. There's always a first time for everything. So when we hold it like this, we take this hand and we snap the gun like that. You saw that one come out. Sometimes they don't always come out. Sometimes it'll come back over and then you gotta rack it again. But now of course we can, and you could have taken the magazine out beforehand, doesn't really matter. Uh, but now we can lock the slide back. There is another one in there now, which came out. And now we can check that it's free and clear, visually and physically inspect it, and we're good to go, okay? Uh, again, the idea for this is it's really a lot of times gonna be a two step. I, because they're snap caps and it worked perfectly and it wasn't under power, uh, that one came out pretty cleanly. But a lot of times they won't. You, the, the first time you snap it, and you might have to hit it a couple times, that quick snap uh, just gets it free, and then you can rack it. All right, so that is what we're going to call a Type 4. Uh, that is where the slide is basically jammed uh, shut, and you can't just muscle it out. So that quick snap is your solution to that. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you don't come into too many of those malfunctions, but if you do, you'll know what to do now. So you guys know where to find us. Of course, you can find us here on YouTube. We are on Rumble, and that's building quite nicely, so we're happy with that. So please join us on Rumble. Uh, you can find us potentially on Twitter coming soon. Uh, and all our A-list stuff goes to Patreon. If you're watching this video right now, there's a video you're never going to see unless you are a Patreon member. Those are Patreon-only videos, and we answer all your questions directly. So it's not like YouTube. I read some comments, but not that many. And Patreon, I read them all. And we typically make a video specifically for your question. So until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.